There are five key lessons in the lives of most brown girls. Lesson one, you must get married. See, Bianca, can I learn how to make chapatis? You have to start learning all this soon. See, soon you will be married and you'll have to start managing by yourself. Mom, I'm not going to get married soon. Like, I'm not going to be getting married until I actually find someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. Most men are like children. Why would I want to sacrifice my independence, my money, my freedom, my health? To be with someone who makes my life worse off. Bianca, marriage is one of the most important sacraments of life. You have to find someone to share your life with. It is very lonely living life on your own. Um, hello, I have friends, I can get a dog. That is not the same thing. See, once your friends get married, they will have their lives. Then what are you going to do? You also have to find someone. See, if you start looking now, then in one year you'll, you'll get someone. You have to start looking early, then only it will happen. <laughs> A year or so. Hello, I'm 23. Like, I want to hit some career goals, live on my own, solo travel. There is no way I'm going to even consider getting married before I'm 30. 30? My God. By then, too late. See, by then you're already fixed in your habits. You can't compromise and all that. You must find someone by 25 at least. Why did you give me an education if you just want me to get married? See, if you have a bachelor's degree, people will say, see how demanding she is, saying she wants a boy with a master's. Now that you finish your master's, it's okay for you to say, I only want a man who is as much qualified as I am. So you convinced me to do two years of a postgrad degree that completely destroyed my mental health as a bargaining chip to get a husband? See, Bianca, you want a good boy or no? No! I don't know what to do with this child only. Everything I did for her, I don't know what I did wrong as on. Where did I fail? No, mom, you didn't fail. You're a great mom. But your obsession with me getting married is a you problem. I'm not responsible for your unhappiness here. Then who is responsible? You are the one who is not getting married now. Then you only are responsible. How's this for something to think about? I'm simply living my life, enjoying being who I am, not causing any harm to anyone. If you choose to be upset by my life choices, that's a you problem. I am not responsible for you choosing to be upset about something. Mom, at what point in your vision of the world do I actually get to live my life for myself? Not have you demanding that I do shit for you, but actually get to live my life the way that I want to. Once you get married, then it is between you and your husband. You both can decide what all you want to do. Then I will be happy. Okay, so according to you, once I get married, you will leave me alone and let me live my life. Now here is the biggest fallacy that most brown girls believe. Once they are married, they will be free. Which brings us straight to lesson number two. You must compromise.